Hi, this is Bill. Welcome to another Studio One how-to video brought to you by Lilac Rider. In this video, I'm going to go over tempo matching. I've done this in previous videos, but now we're on Studio One 1 1.5, the point one release of that, 1.5.1. And a few things have changed in the way that you can handle tempo matching. It's better than ever. And so I'm just going to get right into it. The scenario here is you're bringing in material that you don't know the tempo and you want to quickly match the tempo to an outside track. So I'm just going to grab something from my desktop and drop it into Studio One, which creates a track. Now, I don't know the tempo. The first thing you need to do is go in to the beginning and make sure that it starts right on the downbeat. If it doesn't, then you're going to want to trim up the beginning part of it. And then we have to analyze what's actually happening with the song. So let's just listen to it a little bit. Well, we need to also check that time stretching is set to don't follow because we don't want a time stretch. What we're going to do is match the timeline ruler to the tempo that's defined in the song itself. So we're going to figure this out. So I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. We'll back up again and listen. All right, so this is the downbeat of three right here. So we can kind of see that right there. So what we want to do is get this bar three starting back over in this range right here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit on this. And I've shown this before, that if you drag over the tempo field down here at the bottom, that you can adjust the tempo like this. So here's, the, here's where we're headed with it. So I'm going to drag and then, now see it's a little tricky to get right in there. However, if I hold down shift, now I've got very fine resolution control and I can line this up. I can even see if I look at the two and all these other downbeats that I can stretch and get that lined up to where I think I've got probably very close to the right tempo. Now if I look, it's it took me right to 105, an even numbered tempo, which is probably right. So I'm going to back up. I'm going to put the metronome on and in the metronome configuration, change it where it will click in play so that I can compare what I've got to the metronome. Yeah, it sounds like it's right on. So there is, that's how you tempo match to something. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.